There's great anticipation for change to take place through President Barack Obama's new leadership. How these changes will affect our country and us personally remains to be seen. We don't know yet what to expect. However, there are certain characteristics we should all expect from our leaders. Here are a few important ones. In the ancient book on leaders and leadership, the Bible, we read how powerful King David of Israel described leaders. He who rules over men must be just, ruling in the fear of God. Strong words for would-be leaders. To be just, one needs to have his life in order, in a righteous way. He also needs to be fair, avoiding playing favorites. His judgments must not be prejudiced and must be lawful. The fear of God means that one knows he is not the ultimate authority, but will be judged by one greater than all of us, the supreme God. Having the fear of God will keep one mindful of his actions. He will make sure that they are honorable and fit the ethical teachings of the Word of God. Moses received advice from his father-in-law regarding being a leader. Jethro's advice included the need to have the skills and abilities to do the job. Leaders need to be truthful, trustworthy, and must hate covetousness. People cannot be in a leadership role for their own benefit or to take advantage of others because of their rank or position. Jethro also included David's advice that a leader must fear God and follow godly ways to be effective as a leader. So what should we expect to observe in our leaders based on the counsel from these ancient advisors? We should expect our leaders to have a reverence for God and His ways, to have the skills to do the job, to be impartial and just, and to avoid selfishness and greed. These meaningful characteristics should be in our leaders if they are to be successful in leading. We should expect to see them reflected in their leadership of our country, the United States of America. By the way, it would do us all good to add these same leadership qualities into our lives as well. For GN Magazine, I'm Gary Antion.